Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Right? So the wife is over there. She's going to um what what is it the the the, the, the decent word for <laughs> to say pull out Jazier here. <laughs> She's going to unravel Jazier Jazier's ear. <laughs> She'll comb Jazier ear. <laughs> And then no. So what I want to show is these cabbage. So I got these cabbage, these um, cabbages, recently, and um, I had to strip them. So just to put put the put the put the give some context or size difference. This is one that is partially stripped, and this is one that I strip um, so that I'm not seeing any holes. So as you can see, right. This is how it looks, right? Right? So you know if you if you if you had this experience before, put comment below. Right to ship these. And it's also a pain for farmers too that sells cabbage because you find that the buyer comes and you say, Well look, I can't take these with the holes, you know, so you have to strip them. And you find that a farmer will have a large head of cabbage and he has to strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it until you know it weighs very um it doesn't weigh a lot and then he loses a lot of money right all of his investment fertilizer pesticide and all these things right so um just to just to show you what i'm talking about here's the bin right um it's not totally packed with 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 with, with, with cabbage leaves it's maybe about um about maybe like about a third one third cabbages because i had to ship like one two three four four cabbages so far to really arrive at this which i'm going to cook now right some people will say well look i prefer the leaves being looking like that and i strip them off because that cabbage is more healthier not necessarily so right um, um some people that say are jamaicans that say other people six or one half a dozen of the next something like that also so also <laughs> yeah. so so um what i'm trying to say is that you might see a cabbage with with holes in it right um and and you find that okay let me show you one of the worms here it is right here you see yeah and this was basically covered on the leaf right we shall still get to that so you find that some farmers are backyard gardeners they they basically will spray and you find that the, the the whatever insect biting the leaves basically resistant to that spray so it's not like they're not using any spray so you'll see the leaves being chewed on and you say okay this is this has no pesticide use on it because you, you see insects on it right but and then you'll be tricked because it is maybe it it, it 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 could be a matter of the farmer using a pesticide that the insect is resistant to you keep on using it using it so it still it is it, 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 it still uses pesticide on it contrary to what you think that the farmer didn't right or the farmer might not use any you have some farmers that they just they plant or backyard gardeners they plant and they just don't use any pesticide and if you see holes on the on the on the leaves of the cabbage and you you um in your opinion you are saying that okay then this cabbage is more healthier because the farmer doesn't use any any pesticide then in that case you would be correct right um but as i said in other cases it's just the farmer might be our backyard gardener might be using pesticide but they're just not killing the the, the mutt but that doesn't mean um because the holes are on it um no pesticide was used right so and another thing too you find that even when you when you remove the the, the surface of the, the the surface leaves and you say okay then I'm not seeing any more holes. You find that if you cut the cabbage, right? If you cut the cabbage like this and you look inside, you might see some more burrowing or holes inside because what happens is that sometimes when this cabbage starts to fall in its young stage, younger stage and just starting to fall, you find that you might have the insects um, being fall over, you know, into the cabbage head and then the cabbage continue falling 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 and 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 it chops the insect inside the worms inside and the worms basically start to eat from the inside out 
or maybe not even hot maybe they just continue heating inside heating inside and when you're think when you, you think that okay the surface looks pretty inside is really kind of um the, the, the worm has devastated inside right so what i want to tell you as gardeners and back and farmers you you need to ensure that the, the, your plant is insect free before it start the cabbage is insect free before it starts to fall because once it starts to fall and you don't control the insects or the worms then the cabbage head will fall over on the, the, the worms and then um you might think that the cabbage head is okay because it looks okay on the outside but inside it is it is not inside like inside here it is not <coughs> right you can see this top leaf didn't have didn't have any holes right here but look at this now see that that's a hole and it got, it, you know it's going down further and further right so um, that's what i'm talking about so if you if you experience this um comment it below your opinions your jokes whatever um see you again in another video bye bye